Hey, have you heard the news? It looks like the entire watch is going to be incorporated into the Seven Light Faith. Yeah, the word is we're all getting a pay raise. Really? That's great. I'm resigning. What? Captain! <sighs> hmm? May I join you? You're one of those angels, aren't you? My name is Tsukasa Mikogami. I was hoping we could have a little chat. I believe you're known as the Silver Knight, Zesto Bernard? That's right, but it's not quite accurate. You see, only Imperial Knights get to have dough added to their name. And I'm no longer a member of the Watch. Very well, Bernard it is. I've been looking into your history. You've exhibited great courage. Your fellow soldiers trust you. They say you are a reliable man who makes calm judgments at all times. Well, I am honored and humbled by their praise. Why are you here? What is it you need from me? I'd like you to become the commander of our newly formed Order of Knights. I'm honored, really, but I have to decline. As I mentioned, I recently resigned my commission. Oh, may I ask why you stepped down? It's because of you and your fellow angels. Excuse me, what do you mean? <sighs> I was watching. You all seem quite pleased with yourselves, taking over with your mayonnaise and your divine power. But the Empire will come attack you. Blood will run in the streets. Besides, there's something else that I have to do. Something that takes precedence over being a knight. And because of that, I've quit. Don't we get to choose our own jobs in this new order? That's democracy, right? Thanks for the offer, but I'm sure you'll find somebody else just as qualified. How'd it go? Hmm? With your candidate for head knight. He's exactly the man I thought he'd be. But he says he's done being an Imperial Knight. Oh yeah? That's a surprise. Too bad. I guess you'll have to find someone else. Not at all. I'll just go talk to him again tomorrow. You traveled all the way out here. Why? You didn't believe me the first time? What is it that you want? The same thing. I never really got to discuss it with you. What's to talk about? You didn't hear me out. We would still like you to be the leader of our knights. Huh? Wasn't I clear enough? I'm done being a member of any order. In spite of that, we'd still like to ask it of you. I'm more certain than ever after yesterday. I believe we need a man with your qualities. Listen, Angel. There are things... Huh? Ari? <laughs> What's the matter? I thought you were gonna play. <laughs> I did, but I missed you, so I came back. <laughs> oh, is that right? Well, guess what? I missed you too, Ari. Yay! <laughs> this is your daughter? That's right, and Papa is my Papa. She's the precious treasure left to me by my wife, who passed away in an epidemic recently. Ari, Papa needs to talk to this man for a minute. Could you go play by yourself? Okay, I'm gonna chase the leaves. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I became a knight for one reason, so I could protect my daughter. The bottom line is, nothing in this world's more precious to me. That means I'm willing to give up anything so long as I can live with her. I just can't make commitments that would jeopardize our bond. If this town was attacked and I was sent off to protect it, and I had to abandon my little girl, then I would have no incentive to stay on the job. The truth is, she's the main reason I became a knight in the first place. There are plenty of other knights, some with great loyalty, who are happy to serve the Empire or the Emperor. I don't think a selfish man like me would be the best choice to fill such a critical position. Bernard, I don't understand why. You say putting your family first is selfish. Uh, 
That just confirms my evaluation of you as an honorable man. We'd expect you'd put your daughter first and foremost. What we're seeking from you isn't blind allegiance. Just an ally who will fight beside us. I don't understand. We're not like any rulers you've known before. We want an open society. A democracy where everyone can live free. I'm sure the thought has crossed your mind. Why should family connections, bloodlines, or other uncontrollable factors determine whose life has greater value? It makes no sense. Our aim is to destroy that way of thinking once and for all. But to do it, people will need to leave behind the social norms and conditioning they've accepted in the past. We'll need everyone to take part in the revolution. The truth is, none of this can work if the people who are most affected don't have the drive to stand up and change this world themselves. Are you really saying you can create a world where each and every inhabitant is free to determine the course of their future? With your help, I promise we can. Hmm. Fly away, little leaves! Uh, huh? <laughs> what is a knight, after all? What is a sword? Is a knight not someone who stands up and fights to protect the values of the world he inhabits? And isn't his sword then an implement? A tool in defense of those values? <gasps> Bernard, we're willing to post you here so you can be with your daughter. And in return for that, we ask that you choose to be the leader of our knights and stand as an example for those around you. Show them all that their futures lie within their own free will. Well, when the Empire does attack us, we'll fight them as free men so that if we win, the future is our own. I, Zess Bernard, do hereby dedicate myself to this sacred mission. You won't be sorry, I promise. If there's something wrong with that silver-haired brat, I don't believe he's really an angel. Hey, keep your voice down. Uh... He'll hear you. Huh? Hmm. I don't care if he hears me. What's he gonna do? I wondered when some of the locals were going to start questioning this whole God and Angel thing. There haven't been any serious religions here for centuries. We'll have to keep on top of this before it becomes widespread. What? You're saying Findolf has been attacked by a rebel army? Are you sure that's true? It seems yeah, we heard it from a knight who ran away. He was pretty upset. That's so scary! Do you think they'll come over this way? Hey, don't worry, you'll be fine. We've been stationed here to protect people like you. And besides, we have a lot more than just the soldiers from Buckwald. We have a couple of squads from Arclyde backing us up, and the main knight unit as well. So once spring comes and this snow thaws, those rebels are toast. Wow, that's comforting! <laughs> I hate waiting around. If Duke Fastidious were in command, I bet we'd go down and attack them tomorrow. When you say Duke Fastidious, are you referring to the current Lord of Gustav? You betcha. He's an incredible leader. His fighting abilities are as good as his magic. During the battle with the Yamato Empire, he didn't hang back in the rear where he would have been protected. He stood on the front lines with the rest of us, attacking the enemy. As a result, he was granted the title of Duke and given the authority to govern the Northern Lands. Are you serious? Absolutely. He's sworn complete loyalty to the Emperor. He will eliminate anyone who opposes His Majesty's authority. Wow! I had no idea before now that Lord Gustav was such an incredible warrior. Thanks! Uh, I thought we were supposed to meet here an hour ago. About time, Elk. What took you so long? Ah! How did you do that? <laughs> So, did you pick up any interesting news? No, not really. It's one subject. How they're going to march on Findolf once the winter passes. Not surprising. So what did you find out? Well, I heard there's an amazing magician in charge of the soldiers. A special mage officer. Oh, you mean Lord Gustav, Duke Fastidious? He's supposed to be an incredible warrior and magician, but we won't know until we have a chance to observe him. So... so... Okay. Let's do it. Huh? Let's go meet this guy everybody's talking about. <laughs> the bloodthirsty warrior? 
I come to you on bended knee, my Lord Gustav, humbly asking to be restored to power in the land of Findorf. You want my help after you were defeated in battle by nothing more than a band of common villagers? <laughs> Damn rebels! I, Oslo El Gustav, make this vow. I shall drown them all in their own blood.